on that side of Sharks. He's the killjoy this time, as you see, and we're getting locked in here, Doug. I'm excited. Your Prime Gaming Agent Let's Select go. on full display. Just a few moments from kicking this bad boy off. And there's really, I mean, parry on the Astra for new turn. Uh, that's something that we haven't seen in a little while. Actually, they haven't run that very much at all, right? Like, there are two more prevailing compositions. Neither of them included Astra. So we're already starting to see some changes. Right. And then Riv, we're seeing some changes out of Sharks, too. Look at Gabshees. He's on Sage. That is not... Uh, at all what we have seen from him in a long time like we said 19 times in a row sharks played the same composition starting off here now with a default but look at new turn wanting information right away oh i love that and it's not even just wanting information i think we're going to see from both of these teams a heavy investment in fighting for a control both in short and long new turn full sending and applying so much early pressure and interestingly so oftentimes we'll see teams rotate away from that and go towards c but it seems like Sharks want to hunker down and try to take this fight. Doug, setting the tempo. New turn is saying, we don't even want you to think about your strat. We've already taken out Frostin. That's a lot of the control that's going to be on the flank. Now you need to fight the rest of them as they come in. And Sharks is doing their damnedest to hold this position. With the spike on the other side, that's about to be seen by Perry on the rotation. Yeah, this is taking too long. Right, like it took so long, and yes, you take a look at Light. He's gotten all the way into the back of sea, but Perry has rotated around like two ships in the night. They've passed right by each other. Now they're on opposite sides, and they're about to clash around this spike. Oh my God, the cat and mouse game right now. Nice shot by Dinaru. That was a definite and necessary pick. Two v one on him. Focus down to back alley. A, a attacker spawn side, and okay. Sharks are slowing it down. They're regrouping exactly what they need to do. A little bit of util used to grab this back, and we're going to have a bit of a reset in the round here. How does it play out? See, Sharks, they have high-tailed it over towards C, where Solo is waiting, but with four health, what are you oh, having you? Standing. Not much at all. In the sight. Allows the last one standing. We're all going to keep him at bay, at least for the time being, as the spike goes down. What a play by Sharks to weather the storm so far. New turn getting themselves into murky waters back there. Didn't have all the angles. Sharks was still able to work around the map. And Pinsir, after the fact, is, I, I think New turn felt like they had too much control over everything. They didn't have a, uh, the secondary was to kind of stay and pressure. And Sharks started to react. Great adaptation there to the first round to take pistol. Very good adaptation. I think one other thing that we didn't draw attention to on the side of Sharks is Fra often plays the Cypher. This time has brought a Killjoy into the fold. So you can tell right. Sharks have definitely put preparation time in specifically for this map as they're showing us something different for the first time since late January. And it paid off on the pistol. Yeah. See what they do? Again, orb control by Lockia. We'll focus that. It was going to be one of my big ones coming in overall for the tournament. Our orb's going to be largely played around. So far, we see that is a yes here from New Turn versus Sharks as Prozine and Gabshees, or Gabshees tries to walk up that A side and looks like they're just going to play it slow for now. Spike is down in the beginning. They're saying, all right, we turtle for now and we actually see what New Turn wants to do each round. Will they push mm -hmm. like that again? So this isn't Sharks being scared. This is them doing the turtle, figuring out what New Turn is throwing at them. And this round, it's kind of just an info deny and uh, Sharks are going to have to execute. Well, and dog, let's be honest. I I don't know that I mind if it's necessarily a little a little scared because you don't know what you're absolutely to at this point. Right? Absolutely, like, New Turn have this habit of when they lose pistol, they buy full sheriffs and they buy full armor. They could also be waiting with share. Like there, there's just so much that can be waiting for them on the other side yep. that they're not prepared for. So I totally understand them cautiously, kind of like navigating the situation. They felt things out, felt things yeah. out. Excuse me, towards A. Now they're going to rotate to C. Another ult orb in the pockets of Janaru, and they have- He's also got the spike. He just picked it up on the way up, so he'll plant for another one. Oh, that is a terrifying death call. But I just don't know that they have enough firepower to really make anything happen out of it. And then the, the gun advantage that Sharks have is just a full oh, display here as, as New Turner just down to two members left. Strong play so far by Sharks. Not leaving anything to chance. Strong fundamentals, playing together, trading off each other, not running solo to just give a round up. There they are, the one, two, back and forth as they work each over each other's shoulders for the pie in the face to parry. The 3K there, 
uh, it may not matter what uh, Gobshees is playing here. Doug, <laughs> six, zero, and one. The known Jet player coming out of Brazil, now crushing it on the Sage. And we said he was one to watch. That was a prime gaming flawless as well. We'll see it again. Yeah, you can. You really can kind of understand why they're so highly taught it. And when I say, hey, I really mean specifically Gobshees here. You mentioned it. It doesn't really matter what agent he's on. He just seems to find himself in the right place at the right time. That led to, as we mentioned, a flawless moment, courtesy of Prime Gaming. But now Neutron find themselves with four rifles so for Sharks. They've got, they've got some rifles. Well, really just one in the hands of Denari. Ooh, you do not see too much full garage play on the start. Usually a fake, then a pull out to grab all the util that you can. We'll see how many they actually commit here. Garage is usually a, an afterthought as the map has been spread, util has been grabbed. You have one person go through garage as the final take is going down. Here you see them use it as kind of a back and forth to see what they can get out and who might be in that area. Good intel so far from Sharks as they back up here. This is the bonus, so they want to kind of get as much out of new turn that they can, so they're not just finding vandals and uh, one phantom down there on Perry uh, around the corner as they're holding, as you see, solo on a hard angle. Cautious waiting solo should get some info there. And with time continuing to, continuing to tick away, you have to understand there's a whole lot headed his way. Allow's going to get away from the, a precarious situation, really, by the skin of his teeth. You see the wall has gone up across B to deny uh, yeah. any sort of information coming that way. And they might, yeah, they are going to rotate back left. to it. They have enough time. They've blocked off a large bit of info that would be coming in from C Link. So they're going to be able to get the spike down. And this is just, this is going to be a chaos fight through utility. You see, he hasn't even been able to get the spike down, and the clock continues to tick away. He's going to have to get on it soon. There's the spike. Leitch is able to finally plant it. Numbers advantage still in favor of new turn, however slight. They're still there. Perry spotting where Gennaro is. is able to land the shots to clean him up. Another one falls on the side of Sharks as the round drops down into the hands of Frost. He's going to get tacked up. Locky on the defuse, and I just don't know that he can do much there between the utility that's coming from every possible way. It's just too much to handle, and you turn around the board. Yep. Uh, I love the mind games coming out of Sharks. On that one, you see them going around to A. They fake a bit. Gabshees was able to create so much pressure there. Locky is like, do I stay? Do we just play mm -hmm. retake? And just like Achilleo said, that's something that's fine for new turn to think about is playing retake. Because they're so strong, they use their Utel really well on the way in, and they come in from every angle. Also, holding B is really, really hard, especially after you've done so much around the map. So it was it was really in favor of new turn there. They picked up a round that should have been theirs. Also, the bonus, like we said before, so let's see what happens. Now we got rifles on rifles. Rifles on rifles, and I think, Riv, we're going to learn a lot really from both of these teams here. This is where we see more standard defaults. This is where we start to see plays that may be dialed up. You see Lakia has the Hunter's Fury as Solo invests a bit of utility down A long. Nothing doing quite yet. And much like a couple of rounds ago, Riv, it is Sharks just kind of feeling yeah. things out, right? What are they gonna get? What are they gonna see from new turn? Mm -hmm. And you'll see, if you look into C, you see how they're playing that. It's parry and suggest. You'll see new turn in that setup a lot. One will be in the front, draw attention, parry will peak. They kind of give you the one-two punch. New turn loves that situation. They play off each other so well, and you can see them not moving because they want that to be executed once they get in. Just have suggest drop, parry peaks. So around the map now, allow just controlling as we get sharks into position for another move. You just have info being grabbed by Fra right now, seeing what he can figure out as they get into position as everything is held here over at A. Yeah, this looks like this is going to be an A hit. Again, with, with time in mind, there may not be much of an option to go anywhere else. And as we see, they've started to dash onto the site. Remember, Lakia has that Hunter's Fury. He has to stay alive, though, using a couple of shock darts to delay the plan, at least for the time being. And there's the Hunter's Fury as well. But May have been a bit, a bit early. Yeah, Denaro's just be able to dance things around, but with 13 seconds left, now they're gonna have to force the spike down in a less than ideal situation. Denaro manages to get it down Ooh. just in time. And now it's gonna be an absolute bloodbath for the side of four on four as Prozen dances around the cloud burst as that evaporates. There come the kills, and there goes the round win for Sharks. A two-round lead early on. 
fantastically played on the way in. They take the site. They just start slowly smoking things off. And like you said, Lakia's ult kind of just comes out right away. They're able to dance around it. And I think at that point, you gain confidence yep. as sharks. You can take a little bit more forward of a position. You see the paranoia being used beautifully towards the end of that. And everybody peeking from whatever angle. Having uh, light right under hell uh, and hell able to just paranoia that entire area. It was huge for that retake. So Sharks finding a way through the retake of new turn here as they do shut down the first gun round. And now we're on to some sheriff buys for new turn as we head into round five. And while normally you look at this situation and you go, okay, well, we're, we're likely going to want to give the round to the team that has the better artillery. Mm -hmm. And new turn are, new turn are kind of gross with the sheriffs there. That's something that you cannot <laughs> count them out in at all. We'll see if they're able to light up the kill feed here. Allow does have that blade storm as well, but Perry is already dropped and solo is in a world of potential in a world of hurt here too. Uh, sharks just seem to have the read. I mean, maybe Denaru saw a shoulder there for a moment, but everything they're doing is slowly moving around and it seems like Neutron is shifting their position. That's all that Sharks needs to really get the edge on the site. This is going to be that round where Sharks will farm out the eco buys of Allow and the rest of the squad. There's one as they drop a few. This will be huge if we can get another. So Solo doing work here. He could really do some damage. Then it's a 1v3. He's taken two and it looks like he's going to try to play elsewhere on the map, but I mean, Sharks have, they have full control of the site here. They mm -hmm. even have control of Long as well. While the first two kills were fun and they were flashy, yes, he's been able to upgrade. Yep. This is difficult. This is a big ask for Solo. And Doug, look at how this is playing out for Sharks right now. This round, something they can capitalize. Prozine with the 4K coming up with his rays. Look how many ultimates they have now. As some are mounting on the side of new turn as well, Sharks can now start to capitalize and just domino those ults, one out to the other. Maybe not everyone this round, a few this round, secure when it is gonna be a gun round for new turn and continue to cripple their economy. New turn is a team that will play very much around their opponent's economy, running a hard strat right when it's going to reset them and they know they'll be on an eco buy. Right now, they're getting a taste of their own medicine and Sharks is just, they have their number. We'll see if it happens here again on the gun round if sharks go hard and try to thwart this so if they go slow allow with the operator here round six and mid control yeah. early on a narrow miss oh lock is in a great spot lock you good for one surely his position been given away but it might not matter matter he gets a second one as well as allows looking to add insult to injury the res is going to come up onto prozine i suggest there it was. dance around the damage still has the showstopper in his back pocket and sharks they get they get they get a little bit out of there but then they're gonna try to flip the map oh boy here comes a good flash a good flash an excellent flash this person had nowhere to go with that showstopper and that negates an incredibly powerful and important ultimate they call that the peekaboo oh my word he just dodged out missed it couldn't find him now they know there is a bit of commitment towards lower killjoy can always be a solo player because you're watching the flank so they have to remember that but what a start to this round. Sharks come out firing towards B to start. A great push by Solo. Sharks kind of consider. They've gone mid. It didn't work. Check your flanks and things get spiced up. Now we see what the audible is. They want to all left. go through garage here. And they have the rotation through A as well. But no one's going to meet up for a while, Doug. What is going to happen here? 20 seconds left. And Sharks really seem no, no closer to getting onto the site than they did at the beginning. Ooh. Has allowed just narrowly misses a shot. 13 seconds left. It seems like you the only run. safe passage they have is on to be an early rolling thunder as Solo looks to destroy the lockdown and take care of Fra as well. The spike looks like it's gonna go down just spike in the nick of time. Allow with the op. Holding a tight corner. Here. Seeing if you can find anyone a straight up 3v3 here for this site. Denaru still has the Hunter Fury, but I mean, from that spot on the site, what can you really do? Excellent. Set up by Gashies as he's able to get two what? more. Four on the round, looking for the ace. Perry drops, pros, and gets the last. Sharks get wow. the five. What great shots. Setups. And by millimeters, walking in and out of the eye line of New Turn. Around the map, into Garage, getting a little more info. Back out of Garage, and back to the initial play of the round, Doug. Back to B. Back to where it all started. 
What a round coming in here. And from both teams as well, we're seeing New Turn claw back these rounds every mm. bit. But Gafshis on the Sage. Holy moly. This guy is turning it up for Sharks right now. Round seven, five to one, Doug. To run. Another Sheriff round. Gennaro using that Hunter's Fury early on. And Prozen's going to take that opportunity to dash onto the site. Grenade good for one. The ult's good for another. This Prozen's looking for more. They've gotten onto the site. They've gotten on there really free. Blackie was able to take one a consolation prize. But that's all it was as Lysh looks to get the spike down. Spike planted. Woo! This is the, uh, this is, that's the sharks we saw in the VODs right there. Yeah. Just light the fuse, a firecracker right off the rip. They take that one. Was a round they should have been taking with the eco on the side of New Turn, but they are really making it tough for New Turn here. It's either got to be orb focus or a few more frags so they can start cycling their ultimates. Yep. 12, 2, and 5 for Gavshis there as they start off with this one, opening the site up and instantly executing. This is the kind of combination utility I love to see, Doug. Yeah, this has been a very impressive start from Sharks, and I think one of the things we have to keep in mind here is when we think about attacking teams on Haven, they're often given the advantage, as it looks like we're in a pause. This is actually perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you, production, for letting me explain this one. <laughs> um, you often think about attacking teams having the advantage because of their ability to effectively manipulate defensive rotations, right? You've got mm -hmm. three sites, you can make some noise, you can kind of pull them around, and then you hit once you've really kind of like a, a puppet on strings, right? You can control the way they're gonna go. But I think the, the thing that's really impressed me out of Sharks so far, Riv, is that that's not how they're winning. You turn have not been like pulled around by, by eye candy and, and by trickeration. They're on the site and Sharks are just mowing them over. So it's a very yeah. different style. And the concerning thing is that, that, that it's, it's working and it's working really well right now. Yeah, you know, I came in pound for pound, saying pound for pound, new turn stacks up better player for player. I think Leitch over Perry was one of the ones that was not the two team controllers, but they are making me eat crow on that statement, Doug. Holy moly, Sharks is, everybody's confident in their shots. Communication is up, something I didn't see in their VODs. They are communicating so well aggressively and defensively. One of the things I noticed was that they would push up, they uh, they love to play aggressive, so they're raising their jet would show somewhere, and then it seems like none of their other defensive rotations would move. You know, they would stay, and then the, the site would get taken. Here, everybody's moving together. It's like watching a baseball diamond get manipulated by a play, and they're all in sync. And it's hard for New Turn to stop. New turn definitely has the plays to make it happen again. We're watching allow, suggest, Lockia to all pop off. We do have the Cosmic Divide as well as the Hunter's Fury here. And with the money flow right now, they're at the three round loss. It's $2,900 that new turn is receiving. So you're going to see on that 3400 for allow this round if he loses that AK and a few others. Some thousand dollar credits for the team, but this is going to be tough buys on Econ. Oh, Riv, he had stuck it. Lysha was all the way up in heaven. They, you can tell as soon as that goes off, they want to go away, but he gets punished as soon as he finishes the ultimate. Allows fully online, folks, as he's already gotten three on the round. Sharks just down to scraps as their attempt at getting onto A goes absolutely sideways. I think uh, Allow realized that bank account might go in the red just in a second here. So he picked up uh, <laughs> a few $200 stacks to throw in there. Solo gets taken down by Gavshis as he is always good for one or two. And how many more will it be this round? Slowly, quietly, tried Player cutting standing. noise, tried spike giving off the a. idea that they may be rotating away. But no, he was still there. And now the spike is on, yeah. on no man's land. Dinaru in a... I mean, it's Whoa. nearly, Reese. nearly impossible situation. And while it was exciting at first, Lakia got one, but yeah. the round still goes. So, new turn off the backs of Allow seemed to get something going. But yep. it, it, it really has been charts the entire way. Absolutely. That was a, a needed round, and we kind of saw what it took to shut down Sharks in the moment after this. They, like we said, they weathered that pistol round. Then they came up with a, a few of their own rounds. The one we just saw previously was them tiptoeing around the absolute defense and eye lines of New Turn. So they're finding different ways each time, but New Turn's gonna turn it up every so often. That's one of those rounds, and let's see if they can do it again to start the economy flow in their favor. Doug, they have to chip away at what Sharks has built here mm -hmm. to really get back. 
you see that, I mean, devastating. A shock dart, a slow warp, and a nade on that back corner. Fortunately for New Turn, nobody was there. Surely they would have died. Yep. But for New Turn here, they still have these three ultimates in tow. I mean, Sharks, they want to make real damn sure that there's nobody back in that corner. They have Rez here. That's going to be difficult taking C. Always is if you're trying to get an open sight like that under Rez if it's not a pick previously. Spike still down, or I'm sorry, picked up by uh, Leitch, but all the way back towards spawn here. And you can see that defensive play by New Turn. Give a bit of space, feel more comfortable with the alts you have. No reason for Lakia to be just firefighting in Garage. Hunter's Fury is there to take down the spike as it hits. Let's see if they can focus where that goes. It's going to be a New Turn call. And again, Brazil, that region, a lot of the regions that are NA, EU, Korea, going super, super slow when they're known for going super fast. And it seems to be routing new turn. Here we go. Lockie using the Hunter's Fury as yeah, the kill feed just like bleeds red. Sharks have already taken care of three lights. He's going to get the spike down. Solo shows up to the party and a bit late, unfortunately for him, is. E and allow find themselves in a 2v5. No real access to the site. There's a wall that's denying any sort of entry from yep. garage. And and Riv, it was another impressive take by Sharks. The the one thing that the one pattern that we are seeing emerge here is that's a couple of times now that Sharks early on have hit a site. They've invested a lot of utility. They they yeah. they're making their presence known, and then they rotate out just a little bit to come right back to the exact same spot. And both times we've seen that it's worked. Ah, uh, single duelist, you know. Prozine doing what he can on the raise, but it's not a duelist we are seeing step up. It's Gobchis with the rest of the team as well. I mean, uh, team effort, obviously, but you got to keep calling him out at the top of the scoreboard. Yeah. We see Prozine right there behind him, being the duelist that he can, but Gobchis has been such a flank, info grabber, silent lurker. For, for a Sage to not be with the team, he's honestly playing that like Arena off in the distance without a, a, a blind. You know, mm -hmm. and he can control a bit of the flow. We saw him put uh, a few things up just to distract previously, and it, it distracted Lakia and B, and then they finally ended there at the wall. So the way he's playing Sage is incredible. Oh, 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 it was there. It was a beautiful setup. You heard the flash. You heard the blade storm. They dash across. Now the res is on there. And while the res does channel through, they know where it was. Solo's not able to convert onto any of that and through the chaos that was the first couple of seconds of that round new turn find themselves in a 3v5 slowly moving it back and it's a little bit of a push here from Lakia. he could be in danger this is going to be a drone coming around he'll get seen out he hears it and now he knows he might be in a pretty sticky situation so he looks to rotate out mm -hmm. gets clipped Leitch comes up with the frag there and now it's going to be the movement towards a Again and again, Doug, we see dwindled numbers of new turn trying to hold or retake a site here as Sharks is just able to open it up. A parry says, maybe, not this time. Oh, parry already good for three, but only four bullets. In oh, it's going to run dry. Had a chance at four, got cleaned up. Suggest Gabshees in a 1v1. Gabshees has been electric up until this point. Has the spike, has 30 seconds left. Can certainly flip the map, and it looks like it's exactly 30 seconds left. Gonna do. So, see you later, Gator. It's gonna be a wall right side. This could be a blast pack right up on top of the B. And then he shoots down onto him. Season for a second. Okay, so he just goes for the firefight. And that's a tough one to take against Gobshees. Suggest coming up short on that. And Gobshees just continues to show he's here to send a message with Sharks in their first game at Iceland. I mean, 16 and three dudes, dudes feeling himself. And I think the other concerning thing here, Riv, is that New Turn showed something different, right? They dialed up aggression. They tried to flash and dash with the Blade Storm. They threw something at Sharks that they have not seen before, and Sharks handled it effortlessly. Let's see where they go this round. Setting up again to just kind of read what utility they may find. New turn wants to push the pressure. They'd like to do that on some saves, but they're also partially buying through here. Let's see if they continue to push. They know where a few are, and they can kind of figure out Sharks is playing this round slow. It's how far they can get up to see where Sharks would be going. Nice pressure from Allow so far. 
And this is actually how Sharks has been able to start picking apart New Turn. Yep. Because now, if New Turn doesn't like what they found out, they start to back up, then they're not in position, and it seems to be when Sharks is pulling the trigger. They just have this timing down. So another 30 seconds, let Sharks continue to do this. You figure out a few things, and we'll see their movement. First bit of info that's been gathered is Lao gets tagged up, has to dash back. Meanwhile, I do like this from Solo, taking the middle of the map away, an aggressive denial of space. Yep out of the team from Korea, and he might be in a great spot to blow this up again. Riv, look at that. He's going to show up right behind them. If he goes undetected, he's going to flip this thing on its head. He's been spotted solo. Good for one. Oh. Max away. Yes, the kill gets traded out of Prozine. There comes the paranoia. The dash out from Prozine as well, as he's able to connect it onto Suggest, looking for more. As they get onto the site again, New Turn can't stop anything. They can't stop a nosebleed right now, as Sharks just continue to run over all of New Turn. Another 30 second strat from Sharks. Just walking the other team around. It's You don't get your first confident shot, your first angle, what your strat on defense would be. And Sharks is doing a great job at reading that and getting their way into the site. These rounds as well, they make sure they don't lose too much here. You gotta give credit to New Turn for taking down a few members quite nicely for them if they can yep. do better on defense on these maps than their attack uh, time after time. Oh, upset it. So, Dark goes out. Whoa! Just a bit outside. I think I just saw that go over my house. <laughs> you turn this do one's have, going slow to start. You turn do have a couple of key ultimates in their pocket. They have that cosmic divide and then some entry as well. While Sharks are certainly no slouches in that department. We see this fight for A control continue. Now, Solo's in a great spot here. And Perry's on the other side as well. Depending on what utility they dial up, there may be something going on here. Here comes the Rolling Thunder oh, Gash. Oh my up. Oh my gosh! Prozen does it again! He takes your Vlachia and Perry. That's gonna give him access onto A. Riv, everything that New Turner dialing up, Shark handle it, and they throw it right back in their faces. Usually Solo's Breach, or however they work it, a Suggest or Solo, who's ever playing it, is the one to to start the play to make it work yes. the fact that we see shark shutting that down is huge those are curated plays they're ready to make and sharks is just reading it walks through can't hear it with all the commotion prozine gets another one 3k on the round oh shot out of the air allow in a 1v4 against sharks it's west side story all over again as you hear the ult gets Spoopy. cleared out allow looking for a little bit more I, the dude's a sitting duck here, Riv. I mean, they've got him trapped down. They know exactly where he is. Powerful weapon in tow. Final round, gotta jump it, gotta make something happen. Mm. Timing, timing. Mm. Light gets him, takes him down 10 to two as we swap the sides. And remember we were talking about the compositions these teams used to play, how much they used to play it, when they used to play it last. And we were saying that we saw Sharks play the same composition since January. And they only lost twice with that composition. But they switch it up here. They go from double duelist to single duelist, high utility, and they seem to be able to just walk around everything. That sharks or that new turn has here. When they're confronted with new turn, they outshoot new turn. I don't know how to stop that package, Doug. I, I it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like they do either. Again, uh, you take a look at the timeline that really tells the whole story. And in fact, that's probably not fully representative of, of just how impressive yeah. of a masterclass sharks have put on in the first half. But now we mentioned if New Turn were to do it, this is it. But you've got to start strong here. The hole that you've dug yourself is far too deep. For, to really allow for, for much error at all. The margin is very thin. All right, I'm expecting a playoff Lockheed's dart here when it will come back up. The team here to just absorb info. Nice job by Sharks already to gain so much ground. Just being here allows the rest of the team to make some small decisions. Mm -hmm. And as they look to trade each other, pop out. That's going to be the real and deal. Perry and Solo come up with two, and they have a bit of ground. Do they instantly act on it? Oh, my word, Frosten. You can see Perry there with the spike, wanted to go see, was actually on the way, 
and then Frog gives Solo the business, left, right, good night, and then they're now now Perry rotates away, and it looks like they're gonna wanna hit A. They do have a star, both stars actually denying info early on, but with 40 seconds left, Donaru, oh my gosh, Donaru gets destroyed out of Lao, dashes onto the site, manages to get the kill cap, she's looking for something, not gonna make anything convert, Fra left alone in a 1v4, nowhere near the site, Perry's gonna get the spike down as well. 30 seconds left. This, this is, this is an important start for a new turn for them to get back in this map. That was very, very big. It helped them out a lot that they were able to take a few down across the map and know that that was some big retake that they would have bring in Ben. Uh, I'm sorry, Sharks would have brought back to A to make sure they brought that back in. So you take down Omen, which blinds smoke angles, and you take down the Rays, which Roomba nade displacement. So really well played in the start here. 2v2 trade, and then to get themselves back into A. New turn start off strong. We don't have the buy from Sharks. We saw recently they didn't. A few series before Challengers Finals, they were big second round buyers after loss, but they have seemed mm -hmm. to change their ways. Ooh, big push though. Holy moly, Sharks in the water. Heavy aggression out of Sharks. How will you turn respond? Thing is, if Fra can delay enough, we can get something going there. They are going to have access onto the site. Allow's going to dash in first again. You see them clear out that back corner of the site. Common place for things to be anchored. The jig's up. They know that the flank is coming around. Lackey has got to be one of the important lines of defense. He is good for one. Somehow survives through all of that. And then Perry gets the last one pushing in as well. The spike goes down. Allow cleans up Fra. <sighs> and through all of that, it's another round win for Neuter. They needed it. You got to pick up those rounds without losing too much. New turn finds that. Let's see how the teams start to stretch each other thin now. We're back into making those hard plays, fakes, and trying to steal everyone's util before you make a hit. 16 for both Prozine and Gobshees. Just fragging out, feeling it right now, like you said. They're vibing. And that is why we mainly see this score line. We'll see here if New turn can turn it around. They're the ones attacking. And we are about to head into round 15. A couple of rounds in the books. You see them riding a little bit of a bonus. Allow has the Spectre, but rifles the rest of the way. And some pretty early aggression towards A. Good I'm damage. Great damage on that. Let's look at the health bars. Oh my word. Did you just call this or what? You think it's a choose your own adventure? It looks like Sharks is just reading the same book page for page here. Capchis picks another one up, and now they're going to have to fight over A a little bit more, Doug. Player standing. Four. Down a. Looking for another gab. She's, I believe this is the second 4K of the map for him. Fra, I might play spoiler again. I think he was the one who took the ace from him the last time. But Locky is yep, yep, spotted. Yep. They know where he is. Gab, she's, they're trying to serve it up to him. They're trying to give it to him. But Locky somehow gets away with nothing but 27 health. He doesn't have the spike. He's just running for, for any sort of solace he could find. This round is going to go in favor of Sharks. For Locky, a consolation prize, get one step closer to having that Hunter's Fury online. But I think this is an important round for Sharks because you can start to feel some of some of that shift, right? Like you turn, get a couple yeah. of rounds on the board, you're starting to feel them click. And that's a big response left. from Sharks. A little bit of hunting to end this one out. Why not? The money's in their favor and they're feeling good, especially on this first map. You're able to get on the uh, opponent's pick, make sure they feel the pressure, make sure you send a message to start left. off your best of three, and possibly send your opponent down there to the lower bracket if you can get the second one. Here, guy, God, she's pushing out a little bit. <laughs> like, just like, who comes into my house and tries to do that? Just shake his head no. All right, so we're getting in there round 16. Let's see where the money stands. The 20 bomb has been dropped by the Battle Sage of Gob Sheesh here coming out of Brazil. And we just see the beginning of this, Doug. It's like they read Jeez, everything bro. about they wanted to do. I, I just, that, the opener was gross. And you see like how Gab Sheesh got so close to that ace. It's just filth. It was pure filth. Wow. All right, so a flip of the rounds there. That means it's only $1,900 going to the side of New Turn. Look how much this messes up their buy. Yep. When you don't get the full buy, but know you need to pressure, this is the kind of situation Sharks is creating with that quick buy again to flip-flop the money. And, and Sharks knows it. 
Sharks knows they can play safe here. They know they're against an odd buy, and they don't have to go wild. For new turn, you can tell they wanted to hit B. They invested the shock dart to clear out any potential killjoy utility that could have been sitting there. Any nano swarms, any alarm bots, common spots. The one thing they weren't able to clear out, which is still up and kicking, is the turret. As things go eerily quiet, U turn mulling over where they want to hit this play, and Fra, Spidey Sense is tingling. There may be something going on here, and he would be right. Moving around, so switching the Sova and the Sage to make sure there's slows on B and all the attention on Vision and Intel on A now. I think this is going to be the fault line through and the flash as well coming in. Are they going to try to hit it? And so much time has passed, so patient as they try to get onto the side and so far it seems like patient sneaky is sneak. to allow manages to get on there, Whoa. manages to get the spike down and gets away with his life. So now we're going to see this insane fight and take a look at Perry. Perry has to win this gunfight to give them the room to breathe to control Garage that's often such a highly exploited area of the map to deny things, but Rave, they may have gotten too far off the site. There's nobody watching things right now. Rosen looking to try to get the defuse, try to wall bang through there and deny things and so far, it seems to be working. I don't know the Sharks are going to be able to get in at this point. Janaru in a good spot. Janaru good for one. <laughs> Sobas. Tee him up. There's a second. But a great round. A great round from u -turn. Honestly, they had to pull that card out. Face to face, they have not been able to do much against Sharks. If you can get under their skin and make it work without them seeing you, do it every time, even if it puts you in that moment. Because with the retake we see, new turn able, they're, what they're able to produce, you can play retake on a, on, on a planet spike as well. So there, they get out, play retake on it if they even need to, but more so hunt the rest of uh, new turn, or sharks down at that point. So, great job. <laughs> Lakia doing his best, oh my word. All right, like turn, that. You turn have found some recent success. And Prozen looking to stuff it. Blast Pack's aggressive. The flash was there. Prozen good for one. Hunter's Fury is going to come out as well as Denaro joins. Oh my gosh, fight. Sharks. Denaro using one of his own as Lakio manages to get a kill. I don't know if Denaro is going to find the same success. But what he did do was clear out a good bit of space. Light's the only one. Without an upgraded weapon here, Fra. Going aggressive, Fra, good for it. Lakia drops the spike, but Perry right there at the exact right time to help things out. The res is gonna come through as well. As suggests is trying to stop any more aggression coming in from Sharks, but Light, Light gets dropped. Suggest was super low. That was a very big trade to take Light down. And we saw it was Sharks picking up a few of those weapons, may able to make themselves a bit stronger here on the defensive round. Now they push through to grab a few more, make sure none of those are Spectres. Oh, the plant goes down, but Perry is the lurker. Like I said, the quiet oh, info Perry. gatherer with the high success of life chance. And there he goes, lives once again. Nice shot by Suggest. This could leave it up to Perry. And here's coming Kavshis, 1v1. Kavshis healing up. Perry just kind of has to play this patiently. So we're gonna rotate over. Gobshies with the tap. The gravity well is gonna come out. Just narrowly missing as you see all of that utility used to buy time for Perry to show up. Gobshies in the 1v1 looking to answer the call, and he does just that as he's gonna get the defuse and get sharks to map point. The wide peak from Perry. He thought he may not have the angle, or he might be around the platform there. 12 to 5, game point for match one. And another round that comes down to the wire, frag after frag. You see the scoreboard here, who's been able to put up, who's been able to help out. And you see the clutch coming in. Right, it, was, it was really, it was beautiful across the board. Again, you see that aggression early on. And the thing is like the, the 1v1 that Gabshis finds himself in, is so self-created to find himself yeah. here in this in this I mean, gorgeous clutch moment powered by Red Bull that just, I mean, really puts the icing on the cake. You understand why we've been talking about him so much. It's because he's been able to do stuff like that. New turn of calling in another tack as they, I mean, they feel the yeah. pressure at this point facing, I mean, staring down the barrel of going down 0-1.
Absolutely. And and for the money to go back and forth like this at these rounds and and have sharks capitalize on one, new turn capitalize on one. You get 1900 bucks when you lose that first round, 3000 for the win. Then it'll go up 500 each time. But they're trading off giving each other 1900 bucks for that round plus 200 for whatever kills. What I'm trying to say here is with what sharks has built up that doesn't really affect them. They've just gotten to the point where a few of their buys are off. You'll see them on Econ here. And that's where New Turn has been able to chip back a little bit. But it's hurting them even more as it goes back and forth. So Sharks is doing a good job at not letting a flow happen for New Turn at all and mm -hmm. always sticking their foot in the door. Mm -hmm. it, there's a lot of things going on there with the way Sharks is trying to stop New Turn, and whether it's Util, whether it's Econ, whether they're just going for the throat because they know it, it is an eco round and they're sending a message. Uh, New Turn doesn't really have an answer. No, oh, he's going he in, in the shot. Go ahead, bro. No, no, he just played the shot. He played music on his areas. <laughs> I love that. Ten seconds away from kicking off the round, and for new <clears throat> turn, it looks pretty standard, right? Like, there's nothing flashy that's dialed up. You don't see anything aggressive early on. It looks like it's going to be pretty defaulty, and they have plenty of ultimates way. to work with here. Gabshi's going to get tagged up by the Gravity Well early on. Bladestorm online for allow. See, they slowly move in. Again, we have not seen too much pressure towards Garage. We saw that the, said that at the middle of the map. It's usually just a util grab in and out. Looks like they may try to work it here as Alao goes in. Dropped by Prozine to start. And the one for one for both teams. Oh, both oh, stoppers net man. kills as Prozen gets the second, not able to get, uh, looking for the third, not able to get the fourth as the clip runs drive, a parry. Looking to keep the map alive for new turn in a 1v2. Has some utility, doesn't have the spike, but understands where the push is coming in from. Parry's not able to do it. Denaro and the rest of Sharks strike blood first as they take a 1-0 lead. What a dominating game from gaming. What do we see? We got Gab Shees on Viper, things you love to see across the board, Riv, the rest of this looks looks pretty standard. New turn bringing in pretty, yeah, pretty much the standard composition that yep. they bring in. It does have the jet, it does have the raise. This is where new turn likes to flex towards the double duelist. And on the other side, we have the Viper expected there. The, sa or the sky is in there, no sage. They're brim for Omen though, for Leich on this one. That is a change for their hmm. br br Berber, brimstone buying composition uh, as they bring it in. But look at look at Gashi's just doing what he can to play everything under the sun for this team. Let's see if he can still put up numbers. New turn looking to send a message here in game <laughs> two. And Gob says, this one's for you. Gob starting off hot. Allows already been destroyed. Oh my the what? investment of utility to get into U-Haul suggests good for one. As new turn, they've, they're still trying to like brute force their way into this thing. And Rave, you got to keep an eye on the minimap. Look at Fra rotating through market. This is something we see on Bind a lot. If teams turtle too long, if they are not decisive with their moves, there's a possibility that they get blown to shreds. And that's exactly what happens to Perry as he drops. That was an absurd. We'll talk about this in a second. What a win from Sharks. That was an absurd wild read on one of New Turn's most plays on short A of Bind. The fault line comes through. They head towards U-Haul. And where was Gobak Gobshi's Viper Bite? Right where the dashing allow would be. There it is. They move out. Boom. Viper Bite because the flash comes through. He's not even looking. Like, yep. that's a read on doing your homework. Sharks is in there right now. Certainly not the start you wanted to see if you're a fan of New Turn, but still plenty of game to be played out for New Turn. We mentioned this on the first map. This time they are going to be leaning into the full sheriff, full armor strategy. And again, man, like they're pretty gross with the sheriff, so you certainly count, can't count them out as they test test things out, feel things out towards me. Yeah. A little bit of sheriff love. We see New Turn doing this. They have some great laser shots when it comes down to it, but very patient and deep play here from the side of Sharks. And it's gonna actually still just be that frenzy for uh, Denaru. It looks like they have a place to possibly get an operator in hand later if they want it, or just a rebuy or drop for someone. Always, always interesting to see econ purchases like that in the way teams play. Few alt orbs building up for every player right now. Nobody focusing too much, but it is a slow one from New Turn. They're saying, let's extend this out, get it, 
Spike's probably going to get picked up here in a moment by Solo, and we'll see where they go with it. They do need the spike. They do. You see, U-Turn invested the fault line to to clear out some of Hookah, but they don't swing with him. Oh. And his patience pays off as he left. shows up just in the nick of time to take care of one. Leitch does on the other side of the map as well. The spike still has not been picked up. And the one good thing from here is that Solo is alone with the spike. There's a whole lot of noise happening on A, so he should be able to waltz into B for absolutely nothing. The best the way this pans out for them is if New Turn is able to continue to cause problems left. on A. If Perry can get another kill, there's a chance at something, but oh, he's going to hide it out just in the nick of time the spike's gonna go down and it looks like sharks are gonna show up to the party just a bit late but what can they do with it solo with the sheriff playing that tight angle perry spotted one as well they've gotten onto the site but how do they deal with the defense is good for one not good for a second as well a 1v1 leich looking to come up top, but no, perry gets a 4k to win the round to tie us up early and to destroy economy the entirety of that round was just breath stealing. I gasped four or five times. Like the way Suggest <laughs> died when they pushed through, because it seemed like the spike was an afterthought. So Suggest runs away from Hookah, dies to someone. And you're like, wait, wh uh, what? As we get a replay here. But just seeing that, but the recuperation of what Neutron was able to do, find their way back in. They did a good job at sorting themselves out. Uh, but yeah, that was a very touch and go for both sides of most. 1-1 one, one, though, as we go into round three. 1-1, one, one, and now we see Sharks back on this weird, like, pistol buy. They still have a Frenzy and a Sheriff, but it, it's just a bit disjointed. And then on the side of New Turn, you've got Solo, the only one. Or, excuse me, Perry's going to have it as well. But mm -hmm. three rifles across the board, so they're certainly going to be able to approach this from a position of strength. And very much like the previous round, where have just quiet early on. There's some investment of utility in order to control pivotal parts of the map, but they haven't fully committed onto anything yet. Perry able to drop that shower. That was an orb grab. That was a late orb grab. Perry just held, waited on it. It's going to meet now. Oh. The Naru grab sheets comes through. Solo doing work as Perry comes up with one as well. And this has just been an all over round for New Turn. No one, I think, Doug, that they need to start sending a message here and can't say eco rounds or safe play rounds. They're, we need to get in the shark's face and, and understand how they're playing, how they're moving rounds. A flawless round brought to you by Prime Gaming and a, a beautiful one at that. And you even see, like, you see how they're trying to play around and exploit different areas. You mentioned the late orb grab. That's exactly what we saw. New turn really just kind of picked this thing apart the way they wanted. And there was so much that was going their way. Like, they had hookah control. They had long control as well. New turn played that very, very well. So again, cross map. A lot of times now you'll just see the raise solo on Hookah for a little bit, hang around, make sure there's no push. But this is seeming to be somewhat of a fast strat towards A, and probably based on the reaction of Sharks at this point. Because whoever was coming over from uh, Market right just there. slowed down quite a bit. Right there. Smokes and Molly behind, ready to stop the spike from being planted. And look how they sit for Sharks. A lot of the utility can push everything off in front of that default truck and try box plant. So they just sit back and wait nice and safe. Ooh. Nice you turn, look to work their way on A. And once again, Fra is on a flank. And <gasps> he's going to get the timing right. He's going to get the timing right. Good for one. Looking for the second. Line him up and knock him down. Yeah, he drops, but the damage has been done. What can you turn do to salvage this situation? They fully aboard on the rotate. They're going back towards A, and the thing is, Sharks have their defenses split. It's just Leitch by himself. So far, so good. Has Ulti. the ult in his back pocket as well. That's a good chance at something allow. Looking to get the spike down, does just that. As Leitch holds on to it for the time being. He's holding. It looks like it's going to be a U-Haul hit as oh, Sova comes in. Donaru's going to try to hit it. U-Haul, they push him out, but the smokes are covering everything they want. The Bolt almost targeting Allow, but he's able to hide. Scary spot for him. 30 HP on Light, and it's a bit of damage onto Allow. Yeah, Perry's in a great spot. You've got to get Showers control. It's so difficult to get the site back if you don't have that area, and Perry's, sh Perry's showing that in full display here. Denaru somehow manages to get away and manages to survive as long as he has. The tap, not going to matter. Perry's good for three. New turn is as well. Good little game of cat and mouse. Seems like New Turn is feeling comfortable at playing the area they have to work with. 
Yeah, uh, getting the spike down, I was, there's a, there's a quite a few places to plant, and I don't think they had an eye on it, but I almost expected the Brimstone ulti there as the retake was really thwarted by the dark covers that came in uh, from the rest of the team. Just excellent, excellent control of showers. And it, I was mentioning that in the play, but it's just so difficult to control yeah. that, to get that site back if you don't have showers control. So if you can anchor that down, you can cause serious fits. We see sharks continuing to fight for this B long control. You've seen the dart, you've seen the flash onto back fountain a lot as they prioritize this area. And you turn seem to have no problem pushing into it. Either it's B or it's A short. Allows lighting up the kill feed. Light's just narrowly missing with the Marshall. And he's not going to get a chance to light anything up here either. A few quick rounds here. And you have to, you know, we say that a new turn likes Haven. New turn also loves Vine. They love the way that they can work on this. You know, suggest always feels super comfortable with his position of nading, retakes, and what's going to happen with that displacement. And you see allow. Super comfortable in solo working. He had 40 HP and kept moving forward. It wasn't a second thought for him. So they're really feeling it now. The Prime Gaming flawless round there. And we'll see it one more time. So he takes quite a bit of damage here and still says, you know what? That's fine. A sheriff shot takes him down, by the way, at that point. But he doesn't care. They seem to have put the first map behind them and they come out of the gate swinging. It's a as great they thing find to see, Doug. It's a good a point. Lead. Now... A bit of a heavier look towards A. There's the same flash that we're going to see out of Fra down B long towards Fountain. Not going to tag anyone up. So they get that info to understand it towards A. Locky is using the Hunter's Fury to clear things out. They're also going to dash right behind it as Allow tries to get onto the site. Bladestorm and Toad, the flash was there too. But again, Showers proves to be the problem. Leitch gets CC'd up to high heaven as he tries to stay alive and so far is able to do yep. so for the time being. Gets tagged up. Locky on the flank. Good night, good sir, as Locky drops. Light regains, it maintains, excuse me, control. Oh, they're flipping. Flip, they're flipping, three, surely they got bite on that. Low HP, they're gonna have to stick together for a bit, even if you have uh, Donaru seeing them. Good shock darts from this position. If he bounces them, they're guaranteed to land right on the spike, so great damage, there's one! Finds it, every Sova player will know it and feel that one. And now it's going to be Donaru entering the site alone, and he makes it count! Solo, Solo had the Rolling Thunder, but we can talk more about that later. Parry, you know what he do with six health, good for one. As Frog did he hear it? Tap, tries to get it to half. You've got to bang through that if you want to stop this thing. Parry forced to swing out. Frog plays him like a hand of cards, reads him like a book, and gets the defuse. Gets that spam through, plays him on a bit of the distance to the angle. We all know it's a way to take down your opponent. Frog does it beautifully with a bit more spam to boot, and four to two as now it's the seventh round. We're seeing a little bit of uh, grit here from Sharks once again. Pushing up and getting some good space here. They're doing a great, great job of identifying what's going on around the map yep. to make these situations a little easier for them. Fra, the captain, coming up big. Always good for the team to see their captain putting up numbers. You know, Doug? Good indeed. Solo still going to have that Rolling Thunder coming into this next round. That flash is going to... Oh, it didn't get... It got some info, right? You understand there's somebody there. Yeah. You don't know exactly how much and you turn are going to full send here. They do have some short control, but they don't really have any showers control. So you, it's, it's a difficult... It's a blind path through the teleporter if you're going to go that way, but they are not going to go that way. They fully committed the showstopper, the Rolling Thunder as well. Dunaru's already off the site. They have full control, but Prozen looking to deal a little bit of damage back. And he does just that as allow drops. And that's a whole lot of not allowing Sharks to do anything and get in position. Denaru gets taken down at the back. Sova almost wants to be an elbow hiding all the time. So no yeah. darts to come in there, figure yeah. out what's going on. And now new turn get to spread out, fortify the site, and get a good garrison going here yeah, for this post no. plan. But Riv, no, they don't have... Oh my gosh, they didn't have control, but it didn't matter. They lined up for Lockie and he knocks them down. That's such a pivotal area of the map to hold. Ooh. And new turn hold fast. A 3K for Suggest, a three round lead. New turn have a Awoken. I was right there with you. It seemed very off pace. People were still positioning, but Lakia, we've seen him do it in the Grand Finals versus Vision Striker. It was holding down B on Ascent in other places. That's just so memorable, but he is always able to grab one or two in these tight situations. A nice lineup, consistent shot, and then suggest as well. And we see Lakia do that. You talk about a Lao, it's considered that Suggest is quietly one of the, the best on the team. 
Yep. So still more to see here as New Turn tries to bring that fire back in. Sharks doing what they can to shut down New Turn. Early kill as he saw the swing out with the Sheriff, just wasn't able to really provide much impact at all. This has been a pretty standard, pretty defaulty man, and Sharks just can't, they can't punch again. back. They can't fight back. Lakia just continues to light things up. Last player standing. Patience. Cap sheets. That's terrible. Make me think I lost internet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's a statue. But that's the patience. That's what you got to deal with. You're not second guessing the decision you're making. You're able to take the shot. Good crosshair placement. Oh, no. Timing is not your friend, though. That's all that is to it. Uh, six to two here as we get round eight out of the way. And we will see what uh, what comes of these next ones. I think we got a little bit more coming from both teams. Some ultimates that are still up here as you get through rounds five, six, seven, eight. That's what you get. So see if the ults make a difference. A third flawless round brought to you by Prime Gaming. And it was really off the backs of Lakia. We mentioned him earlier. We see this early aggression through tele... Or, yeah, really just to kind of blow things up. Mm -hmm. Back showers as we saw some of that aggression come through from Sharks. And they really just kind of walked into his crosshairs. But now we're going to have both teams at full rifles. There are a couple of key ultimates online as well. The rush Including the Viper Spit that's already been used. Oh, they turn tail real quick. <laughs> They're like, all right, they have the right utility. We have to back out. What I saw coming from new turn was going to be drone fault line into sight. But Sova actually pieced out of that situation to not even be seen. So I don't think they maybe have seen Lockie there. Great info grab here as well coming from the other side as we had per Perry checking showers. But that gets gassed out, so nobody is getting clean in there today. Oh, it's an interesting read that they invest that towards showers. We haven't seen that area of the map exploited very often. In fact, you often see Perry playing in short, not really controlling showers very much at all. But that is where they decide to drop in. Skinaro's using the Hunter's Fury, has tagged up. Ooh, dealt a little, but nothing meaningful as they turn their attention towards B. You see the smokes come out this time. There is elbow control. Fra has to stay alive here for his teammates to arrive. Keep in mind the orbital strikes in tow as well, and there it is. Rains fire down from the skies as Perry gets cooked to, to a crisp as Alao gets one as well. Now Lakia with the Hunter's Fury has read Gap Sheets. He knows he's there, tries to land the shots, but no, Gap Sheets with one. Looking for a second, gets dropped, Allow good for three, new turn at seven. Fast, effective round coming out of new turn there. Luckily for them, the rotation of uh, Dinaru was over towards A. So they, they all their smokes counted. They had huge impact when they got into the side of B and no real vision could be found. They did have the sky in the back of the site, but nothing that's really gonna stop you too much. And you can see them kind of running free as they get in here, throwing down a few ultimates. And there was uh, Denaru coming in hot. It's just been a great read Riv from New Turn the entire time. And, and they've- Yeah, what a map flip, Doug. Oh my yep. word. Yep. And the thing is, right, like, We've seen a lot of these defaulty looks from Sharks where they want to control long, as we mentioned. We even saw the Viper's Pit invested to control showers, but th mm -hmm. those are areas that that it seems like Neutron has been al almost like comfortable giving up. They they haven't really yeah. felt much of the of the pressure that comes from from Sharks controlling that. Right, right, and, and you can. I mean, the way, like we said, they play kind of retakey. If Sharks have something, they kind of find a way to either take some, take the other thing or mm -hmm. get the util out. So taking B is good. That initial execution that they would like. Still discussing things on their side. and make sure they're feeling good. You know, I think if a lot of people may have thought Neutron had the uh, wind taken out of their sails with game one, you mentioned they did not. I think that's amazing to see in the caliber of play and the teams we have here in Iceland because you cannot... Uh, think about and dwell on things like that if a map goes uh, so far one way. Here we see the exact same thing happening for New Turn, and they got to be feeling good. Ultimate for Lakia and Perry, and nothing really on deck except for a Fra's ult on the side of Sharks here once we come out of this tack pause. You can see that's three in a row now for New Turn on their victories. Those are frag wins, and now it's going to be a $2,900 uh, a round that you're seeing on the side of Sharks. So that's why they got a bit of a buy, but they're not getting too much money yet without those wins. Revealing area. My shot. Smoke down. 
colon right right through it. You see some of the smoke early towards A, and that was a bit of a delayed flash. So we're starting to see some adaptations come out from Sharks. You also see Gabshees playing a bit more aggressively in that position in showers to try to take some of that space away from Perry. So you're seeing some adjustments. You're seeing Sharks approach things a bit differently, mm -hmm. but so far it hasn't netted into, into anything yet. What it's bought is time, but that's it. They did throw a ping down at U-Haul, considering that might be a, a potential play or where they think somebody is. Sova is now known to be over at the A site. And Lockia seems like he'll fire his out here. And they got Ray's knowledge now. And this will all happen right towards kind of either one minute, 30 seconds, or around there. Everybody's If the spike's not planted, everybody's going to get this util back that just used uh, like a dart or something back around 15 seconds. So we may have a very, very intense hit here once those come back. We see a bit of it dug, and it looks like it's going to be the split on A right to U-Haul as they ping before. Yeah, but Riv, how intense can it be? All they have is Sheriffs, and Prozen has already dropped. Allow has full control of U-Haul. And they're just falling like flies. Remaining. They did not have the firepower. They did not have the guns to fight back. Fra picked one up as a, as a, as a, like a gift, but he's not able to convert anything out of that. Lockia good for three. And if you're if you're sharks here, it's 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 a positive sign that you've seen some of these adaptations, right? That you're seeing them try to adjust on the fly. You've got a couple of you should have rifles yeah. now. So it, it, given how this is gone, Riven eight four, I, I take that eight four is okay. It absolutely can be. You give a little cushion for a pistol round loss or your win, which starts to build things up. And if you win that pistol round, you're almost at 8-8 eight, eight right away off of what should happen in the next few rounds of bonus. So you're right. It, it could be there. And you always have to look at these last few rounds. We have Fra's ult, Suggest, and two more ready. The thing is, Doug Neutron has been no. able to get through these rounds with ults up and almost gets one with the showstopper. Oh, but they pinch at the right time. It's beautiful. They push up a short as they make their way in through showers as well. They have full control of that area of the map. Keep an eye on Fra again. He's the lurk. He's going to try to be fighting for showers control, and he gets just that as he drops Lakia. Now they have an anchor. Now they have a chance at doing this thing. This is a winnable round for Sharks, but they're going to have to land a couple of big kills. There's one that's good for him as Solo drops a 3v3 here as they try to slowly creep their way onto the site. Pros and spots been exposed. There is no Hunter Siri to deny things for now. That's not a good spot. Frozen gets it to half. Oh, he tried sticking it. No, but he gets gunned down by Suggestus. Suggest is good for two. Fra drops as well. Mew turn take another one. Sharks, they made the adaptations they needed. It looked like they had something cooking, but Mew turn stuffs it again. Yeah, it was getting even scarier if there were smokes and things to surround that, but it was too late in the round. Sharks, or Neutron knew they could collapse around it, even if it had to be a spam through the default try there. We see Frost and doing work, the captain of the team, able to get in here for Sharks and make things happen. Honestly, like I said, that feels good for the rest of the team. These attacks that they've had coming in from Neutron, though, they're little adaptations of what they have did before. Right? Shark shut down the first strat. We saw that strat twice now in different iterations. One with a drone first, there with the showstopper. Neutron loves short Ape. They <laughs> absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I mean, now we have Denaru playing in Cubby in a short, but we've just seen this persistence from Sharks to control yeah, some yeah. of the extremities of the map, and it, it just yeah, hasn't netted like, anything. A little find from Solo on the left as they look. Trailblazer is slowly going out. A <laughs> little jiggle peak, Trailblazer. I like that coming out of uh, Fra there. And here's a roach to suggest with the spike. This could get this could get hairy as they're just going for info. I think they're going for movement and throw with what suggest is moving for right now. He has no real commitment, get but I don't think they know what they're going to find on the other side here. Nowhere to so here comes the fake. Here comes yeah, the fake. Hunter series online. If Denaro has to show some fancy footwork to stay alive from Lakia and suggest just stays quiet, like you said, he's going to get away. I mean, with everything he could possibly want. Pose and drops as Denaro does as well. That's going to open the door for them to get through for with, with real ease. But it's a TP. It's insane, oh. Riv, because they've taken two so. They take two sites. Right? They took A. They waltz their way onto A. And they do so onto B. They just, they just have full authority on the map. Oh, Gabs. Gab. All right, Gap Cheese. No, Gap Cheese oh. drops. It's another round win for New Turn. A very impressive half. 10 2. And Riv, they did everything right here. 
that honestly the rotation around i thought was going to be the thing that broke the camel's back but it was not gab coming around understanding where the play could have gone based on hey has the spike been planted that's kind of the last alert you think about after all the chaos you're like has it been planted in all this oh my you know they could be rotating they could already be over there with how we rotated so really great uh, thinking in the middle of the round to make sure they head back and get a little bit more control over the map. Dominant half out of new turn, and now they're going to post things up defensively, see what they have. We saw for Sharks, they're really freaking good, at least on Haven attack. And we'll see if they can have find some similar success. That's right. On bind, you see the Viper utility has been used pretty heavily already. You have that wall up that's going to be denying things coming in from U-Haul. Blind there in conjunction with the dart. Okay. That's beautiful to get Perry away. Push him back. But much like we saw in the previous half, it's new turn now who's on the flank. They're, flank. They're hunting as Sharks fight to get onto A. They've done so, and the map has flipped. It's like, you're going to use our U-Haul strat? All right, let's fight. Here we go, getting into the round. Great push. I love this from Sh uh, Sharks, that they've pushed up. They're trying to gain more space. U-Haul control is pivotal, but even a little bit more towards that vent. Drop back and forth, Doug. We're getting to get the fights in as Frost in three. Stand tall in U-Haul. Oh my gosh, they hold fast just fine. And just Perry alone, and Perry was up in heaven the whole time, and now they know exactly where he is. That's a brutal spot to be. Frog gets to three. As do Sharks as well, and that was an excellent start. <laughs> Just turned New Hall into a bunker there. They were all firing <laughs> out, little window on the side. Great job by the captain. 11 and 10 on the top of the board here as we are on to bind our second map of this best of three series. And uh, Fra 2 3, just taking them down left and right. Gobshees comes up with one there as they keep it going. And that, it, they're just teamwork, confident with each other. They know if they move the, as the death ball, nothing's going to stop them, especially coming in through the pistol. And they showed confidence there. Let's we'll see what they have for secondary. Just the ghost for suggest. And a bit of utility around the board for a new turn to see what they can get out of this eco. Same Viper wall coming out as well to deny information from U Haul. I, and I mean, they light everything up in there as well. Once again, we find Solo on the flank. It's not going to be nearly as much as was previously, but there is a chance at something. Now also worth remembering, Allow has not allowed them to lose U-Haul control yet. He's still able to anchor that down. Gabshees is on a mission. He's got to get control here. Good for one. Gabshees alone, a prime gaming flawless round, and the spike goes down to add a little insult to injury. Really great little bits of utility there, following up on the shock bolts. Everything looked really, really clean get clean there for the Prime Gaming Flawless. They make their way in. The way the, the sonar bolt is ticking away and allowing multiple kills here as they come in, that's two that it was able to achieve. It just really well played, and you need those rounds where you can kind of guarantee yourself a, a force your execution. You don't feel like anything's going to mishap because you have to be able to just have ways to keep your stride. All right, so Sharks on a bonus here, have an opportunity to really get something going financially if they can win this round. You see the Trailblazer are invested early on. The flash is all, but the paranoia is there. Allows going hunting. He spots two, isn't able to land anything. Oh my gosh, Prozen was there as well. Ooh. But Perry swings on him, gives him the business, and gets away. That was that. So this basically is a strat that they've been looking at trying to figure out who's pushing showers, who's doing what. New turn loves to be able to do that. And they'll say, yeah, you're going to flash, you're going to dart. We'll run in front of that with a quick uh, yep. paranoia. We see a lot of teams do it. It's nothing new. It's just a nice, easy flash dash play you can get to. Allow able to pick that one up as they clean up another round. 11 to 4 here in New Turn having their own statement game. They are indeed economy not busted. And for Sharks, that was something, or excuse me, for New Turn, they desperately needed it. And they look good doing it, right? Like, that was the first time that we really saw Allow, or excuse me, it was uh, Solo on the flank, getting it through market from B yeah. to really apply pressure into short that, that had, like, impact, right? That that was a meaningful bit of pressure that pushed right where it hurt. So keep an eye on that. Look at how Neutron continue to exploit that area of the map. I think if you're Sharks, you can't ignore that anymore, especially after the just round, after the round that just took place. You see Sharks already making that adjustment. They're using the Roomba to clear out Hookah. They're making their presence known here, so Solo cannot hit that again. A lot of util. Guiding Light, Trailblazer. Spike is down towards Cave right now, and they're saying, hey, 
Will they throw anything out? Look at this defense from New Turn. You have Solo set up in the site. You allow calls anything. Lockia calls anything. You get a fault line across those two. They can peek or escape. Yep. Great setup that New Turn loves to use on B. They rotate out after figuring nothing's going to be happening on this round. Now over to A. Let's we'll see what they can set up as they get the toxic wall here. How they use it. It's Allow who's going to be on the flank. And the thing is, Sharks have not made their way onto the site. Yeah, they, I mean, they're not even close, right? They don't have full showers control. They mm -hmm. don't have full short control. They're just kind of hunkered down with 40 seconds left. Allow via process of elimination, understanding that they haven't made their way in. There are only so many places they could be, and Allow has spotted them. He knows exactly where they are. The Viper's Wall denying info. Oh, Gabshees, baby. Gabshees reads it. Gabshees punishes Allow. But Perry on the tree. Perry on the tree. Phantom Gang in full display as he gets three. Oh, new turn map point. Get out of here, man. Perry over solos, laid the cards down. Quick full house for new turn there. Perry bringing it up to 19 and seven. Like I said, scoreboard doesn't usually matter. We saw Perry on the bottom last time, but he was still providing a lot of information, helping things happen in the site. This time he's fragging. It's, he can't really pay attention to the scoreboard too much. It just looks good when you're on top because you're doing things like this, Doug. Yep. Literally shutting things down from a single position. Usually one or two is good there, but to be able to come up with more is just stellar. Gun round for a bit of a specter buy on the side of Sharks. Things are getting tight here as it's game point for new turn and possibly a map three. Here we go, Rolling Thunder comes out. Nothing doing quite yet. Oh, the flash is going to follow. The paranoia as well, but Prozen mows him down. Allow drops. You can see they had that written up, right? Exactly how they wanted. They pushed in through Telly at the exact same time but nothing's doing. And this is the first round in a little while where we haven't seen New Turn either invest Sola or allow pushing in on the flank. Lakia could yep. be that problem, but it certainly doesn't carry the same, uh, the, the same punch. There's not nearly as much threat on A for Sharks to have to push their way through. They've gotten onto the site. It's partially. Oh my God, the timing. Parry, parry again, parry again. Suggestive one as well. But here they go. They're on the site. They've managed to get full control there. They're going to get the spike down. Lockheed is left low. I mean, great perseverance by uh, Sharks on that one. A lot of the util failed. They had to rely on quick shooting, teamwork to get into the site. And that's one of the things we saw from them on Haven. It was not a problem. Three alts now ready for the side of Sharks as they prime another one. And it's going to be Fraz alt on Sky, Denaru with Hunter's Fury, and Prozine Showstopper. None should be necessary here which means that should be a few rounds connected together with the use of those alts if Shark can find the right utility and positioning of their opponents next round. Here, he's topping off one by finding one of his three opponents, but it's gonna be tough, a family photo as he looks over to the site from the rest of the members, and Frosten <laughs> finds that one for the quick Vandal shot. 12 to five, Sharks keep themselves in this second map and alive. We got a scent next, and that's gonna be a spicy one for both teams if it is cl cleaned up here by new turn. Man, just excellent, excellent play around the utility. And dude, the thing is, like, Sharks knew where that pressure was coming from. You even yep. saw Gab, she's there. They expected that pressure, and that's that's homework that's been done because you look at film, you see the new turn like playing around those teleporters. Very impressive from Sharks, but Rave, it may have shown up just, just a bit too late here. Now that's yeah. dope. The fake, and they did, Solo went through. Got your train. What are they gonna do? Here comes the Seekers. The Showstopper is gonna go through as well, along with the Hunter's Fury. Perry mows down one, trying to stay alive. May have to ult in order to get to safety. No, not able to get away. Allow Ooh. still on the anchor. Allow looking for more. There's a second Hunter's Fury and the Showstopper coming out from Suggest as they try to fight for the site. The spike has still not made it on there. Suggest is good for one. Gonna get caught with his pants down. Oh, Denaru, oh, Denaru, no, Suggest, not like this. Denaru drops. Leich. Alone, looking to keep the map alive, and no, turns around, hello, good night, as Solo cleans him up, and baby, we're going to map three. Wow, okay, Lothar, you get a little credit on that one, <laughs> but wow, what a flip-flop of what we saw from both teams. I meant Yes, indeed, Perry on the Astra, that's a recent adjustment out of them. 
It really is. They they have a lot of different things they'll flex to, but they feel like uh, with what we see their Astra on a hold, suggest we'll play Cat. He'll focus a bit of that defense. And this is where I get the note that Perry and Suggest just have this like absurd life expectancy because they're always grabbing info, they're doing things. You're gonna see Solo kind of creeping around, doing his own thing out of B on defense. And I'm excited to see what Sharks bring here because if you are an aggressive team, Ascent is a great map to be aggressive on. Yes, indeed. We see Sharks starting off on attack. And then of course, it's actually new turn who are taking some real estate early on and they've done so absolutely quietly. There's the flash out of, yep, there it is. And the kill's gonna land as well as light drops. Allow is taking so much space away. Fraz is sitting ducky. He's gonna drop as well along with Denaru. It's a bloodbath over by Tiles as so much pressure is exerted from Neutron. I mean, that was gorgeous. A flawless round by Prime Gaming to start things off. And what more could you possibly ask for if you're a fan of Korean? Wow, that was intense. That was fast. It was so fast, two of the teammates don't even have assist on them. And Lakia and uh, Solo, I believe, over there. So what a round coming out firing. Uh, expect Sharks to be a little timid here on their heels for the next <laughs> yeah. few rounds. Yes. And uh, we'll see We'll see what comes of this. But a new turn, literally out of the gate, off the rip, just one headshots, and that's what we saw out of them. Spectre buy from Solo there as he's probably gonna do a little bit of solo work himself, no pun intended, but you'll see him and Lakia work the site here, picking up two 3Ks as they just do not let that site go down. You see the shock dart off the cue of the sound from picking up the orb, pushes him off, and now they can take some of that space back. That ult orb should still be mm -hmm. up for grab. So some early change of utility, you see exchange of utility, excuse me. You see the priority that both teams are willing to put around both the gathering and the denying of that ultimate orb. So far, Shark's leaning that way. Solo's in a great spot. That ult orb will eventually go in the pocket. Rosine. No shock darts anymore. And here we go. Solo, trigger discipline, good for one. Looking for more, and if it wasn't the Spectre, it was the freaking Nano Swarm. As he gets three, gets for a second. Back to back, flawless round, brought to you by Prime Gaming. New turn, they, I mean, <laughs> they're scary right now, Riv. They are. And this is why those rounds are impactful. Honestly, Sharks can come back. There's a bunch of games to go, but you're going to have to remember how much economy for new turn was spent on these rounds. Not much. A lot of util stayed in the hands. Full armor there. So the upgrades are going to come in off of what we just saw was only yep. solos by. So that was a huge bonus for them. The econ is riding high. And now Sharks is going to have to chip away at a little bit more. Still the same game, just a little bit more to chip away at here, as that was such an econ round for new turn. Ew, Allow sits on that. He wanted the shot. He chose to do that, but nobody peeked it. So great job by uh, Sharks to start off with a bit in their favor. Yeah, great read from Fra. But what do you have to stop Allow here? Ah, the curveball and the room, but no! Allow oh, it anyway! Oof. Uh, a little stop, a little go. Rosen cleans up the utility. The spike is not in the hands of anyone as, as Sharks look to exploit the middle of the map. They've gotten this far. No alarm bot or any other utility kind of keeping them at bay from Solo. And I mean, it's it's going to take a little bit. As you see, Denaru is still working his way around, but... They, they're going to dial up a hit on to B here. They've got Lockie in the back of the site. They also have Solo sitting here. Look at how they're encroaching as well into spawn. They've oh. worked the mid, Doug. Yep. What I wanted to see. Quick TP back out. Frosting coming in with the Odin on the back side of the site, and they have to take it now. It's all about getting the Sova out of Boathouse. Lucky and Solo hold it down. Like I said, it's going to be real tough to take the site from those two. And, and Riv, like, there you feel the gun advantage that they had, right? Like, the way they handled their money in the second round allows them to bring that level of firepower into that fight. And you even saw, I know you, you mentioned this a couple times, that shot was just, that was just disgusting. But you, you mentioned this a couple times, you and I saw it, it's right here. So Killjoy has this dope setup where the turret is sitting on the back corner and she can play off of that trigger of the of the turret. So she swings around that, she lines them up and knocks them down. You turn her clicking on all cylinders here. Financially, they're in great shape. Salau so still has an op and it looks like he's gonna get a chance at something. No fancy shot through the flash this time around, but enough to make him think about it. 
I love this coming from Sharks. All out, rolling through. Prozin goes down. Leitch is going to find himself falling as well as Solo. Finding shots left and right. He says, me first. Allow says, not just yet. Another Prime, or flawless brought to you by Prime Gaming. What a game so far for them. Sharks does seem to be testing the waters in their their save rounds. Didn't even mean it. The, but they're pushing through, right? They're just saying, all right, if we can take it, we're going to take it. And whereas last map, or even the map before, we saw these being very methodical rounds. And I said ascent is fast because you're right up in people's faces right. when you're able to engage. Doesn't mean you have to play fast. So I think we're going to see a slowdown here. Maybe a 30-second plant round coming back in as things start to change and a little bit more orb focus. Prime Gaming getting plenty of love this map. And Riv, what was the last time we got five rounds? Or we hit the fifth round of a map, and a team only yep. has one kill. One. Right? There's just been one kill out of Sharks this entire time. That's insane. That is absurd to think about because, one, you're, you're not finding every alt point you want as we see the run it back come through, Doug, and they're looking like they want A. Yeah, and they've left it, right? Like... A's free, it's open, they're comfortable playing for the retake here. I was curious to see if Sharks were going to work their way in through Tree to control the back of that site. But no, they haven't managed to get their way in. And you can see Solo's kind of like waiting for it. They expect that to be what they want to exploit. Leitch gets the spike down as Denaru drops a bit of utility to try to push them back. Allow has taken some damage, but that's it so far. This is going to be... A spicy retake. The flash comes through. Suggests already takes care of one. Gap Sheets is going to drop as well. There's a wow. lockdown as it creates some space, and they have to respect it, right? They don't really have anything to get in there and deny that, so they give that space up. Now, new turn. Find their way onto the site. Frost in a great spot. There are two still playing back in long. They both drop. Frost left alone. Frost good for one, and Frost drops. Not able to pull out any of the heroics as new turn marches on. Just util stuff right now is sharks try to get in. Everything they throw is either utility is info denied or it comes up with a, a ping they don't want to <laughs> actually fight against. You know, they're like, oh well, that you means that's killjoy and back. and a, a sky and something else that's just going to crush us down in combo of utility. Yeah. So we got a tactical timeout coming out for sharks now. Things are getting a little out of hand here as sharks. I'm sorry, New Turn has seemed to shake off all the cobwebs and have found their groove that is now extending from map two into map three. I think they can just do no wrong, Riv. Like, that's now, a, it seems that's like, now another right. rifle. Yeah, it just seems that way, right? That's another rifle round. The Sharks have been able to dial things up. They even had the run it back where they were trying to exploit tree and they got some space. They got the spike down, but then there was no counter for the retake. Right? There was right. nothing that they could do to stop them from fighting back for that site. And even with Fra on, on the great flank, right, knowing that his two teammates were back in wine, they weren't long, they were just kind of stuck back there. Fra was on the great flank to kind of blow that up, knowing that's where the attention was going to be. But even in that, they just get mowed down in wine before Fra even gets a chance to show up. So then he shows mm -hmm. up and everyone's looking at him. There's no way for him to have an impact on the play. It's just been, it's been beautiful out of New Turn. Achilles must be, he must be grinning from ear to ear right now. I mean, they're looking good. They got to be feeling good. You got a Blade Storm here versus Fra's ult. This is actually a really big round coming in for Sharks. There's not a lot of utility. There's no rays on the other side. It's a Sova Hunter's Fury that's going to be taking down your ult that is going to get that lockdown out of there. So they have a chance to get it up. And this is a round to start turning around at least a bit of the econ game because look at the bankroll on the side of New Turn. A few rounds tarnished and they're still okay to buy. This is tough. Spectres as well coming in on three members. Four. Five? Five. So I can't can't tell if it's a phantom at this point. Yeah, Spectres, there they are. And we're going to see what they can do with these ones coming in here. My goodness, the aggression, Riv. You often see a one-way drop there with the gravity well, but they just gravity well and they push their way in. Suggest is able to get one. Yeah, the kill gets traded out, but you're seeing the pace at which New Turn want to play, and they're not, they're not letting up. And the focus for the phantom is Gobshees. He takes it. That's where it could provide the most return on investment of taking one down for one. And they'll see how they work this now. I expect the round to go a little bit later. That's going to be good that they see Killjoy knowing lockdown is there. There may be more priority around it. And the info that suggests can grab there. But they have to consider everything. And Lockia hasn't moved. He is yeah. ready to rip anybody that comes into B. So you can see how comfortable New Turn feels even having a man, uh, uh, somebody down here against uh, 4v4.
Now, Lockie, yeah, and Lockie is going to get a chance at something because he's reading it, but it's all about how much they bite into this because the spike is still on A, right? That's still where they, well. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's a call, that's they a they call out. <laughs> that's still where they wanted to go. Uh, they're certainly going to reconsider things. Yeah, that spike's going to drop as well. Spike they know everything a. that's going on right now. Denaro is going to show up along with Leich. They don't have the spike. They don't have health. At least Denaru doesn't. Leich has a yeah. chance at something special here in a 1v3. Nothing but a Spectre. Nothing. 6-0 for new turn. Uh, there was quite a bit of util there for Sharks to get on the entry if Leich wanted to throw in a smoke or a paranoia. A lot of dry peaks coming in there. Four kills to Sharks right now as New Turn has found their groove coming now into the second map, or third map, I should say, second and third. And here we saw it, you know, coming out of the pause, we got to go aggressive, we got to do something. They were able to pick up the Phantom, and that was the Phantom going down. So they yep. did smoke over towards Cat. There just wasn't one that we saw go up towards Heaven here. So it was just a choice in their play. And again, New Turn seemed to be uh, around the play instead of all, all, all in it, like Sharks wanted. All right, slightly different look here. Right, they're heavy stacking towards B. We haven't seen this I mean, really since what round two. Yeah. So this is this is an interesting adaptation from Sharks. Under my goodness. Oh my god, oh! he has already gotten two. He might get a third. He understood. He heard him. Yeah, the orb was there. They, it's just unreal right now, Riv. This is just a no, no, oh no god. situation. Like you, you want to be able to gain ground. And uh, Lockie has been doing this from time to time, sorts it out when he needs to, and does it this round to come up with two, right? It kind of feels like he said Nutrien can do no wrong at this point as they just try things out. They're kitten, they're connecting. Frost down to four HP. They had that with uh, Gobshees, that's 34, and Light is full fight right now. They're waiting to get Frost and out of this situation. If he could waltz out, he'll be all right. But what do they do from here? A frag would be great. Dropping allows op would be huge, but those are really just chips off the block right now. It's a yep. wall they're facing. 30 seconds right. left. I think the one benefit to them is that is that New Turn haven't haven't taken oh, space, oh, right? Yeah. Like they haven't taken any real yeah. estate away from sharks. So there's there's a little bit of room for them to breathe, right? There's no process of elimination, right? If they've taken long here, if they've taken a lobby, if they've taken the middle of the map, you know that the rotation's coming back. But it looks like they're left. just going to try to save this out and save some of the rifles. And folks, let that be, let that be a sign to you of how dire of straits sharks find themselves in. That this is where they are at this point. That they're trying yeah. to save three rifles down 07. They just can't get anything going. I, I, Great was, kill was there. that kill number five? Yeah, five. New turn of one more rounds than sharks have kills. They're not getting the flows, and that's on your, your Phoenix, right? At, at a point, you can look at the scoreboard as we watch this again and say, okay, that needs to be run it, that needs to be run at backs. That needs to be a bit more aggression. The confidence opening shot that you would get from a Phoenix, from a Jet, from a Raze being the first one in, and it doesn't seem like you're getting that. It's a little shaky for Prozine, and he's one that does have that confidence. Like we were saying, Prozine and Life were both Crossfire World Champions. They've been in this situation. They know how to recoup, and we're gonna have to see if they can do that to make this a 7-5 or an 8-4 because things are getting a little dire here for the way it's going yep. with New Turn versus Sharks. Yep. Yeah, I think you're right, Riv. For as, as brutal of things as, as things have been for Sharks, I think a, an 8-4, you'll take that, right? Like, that's yeah, very much absolutely. okay. Absolutely. Seekers coming out from Suggest. You can tell they want to go there. There's the lockdown. Hunter Suri, presumably to clear things out from Lakia. Yep, there goes the lockdown. And they're going to use a showstopper as well. Perry's in a great spot. Perry doesn't get spotted. My gosh, he's going to mow them down. He's already gotten two. They never knew he was there. And if it wasn't Perry, it was Suggest. New turn refused to give up an inch. They don't allow anything in through that door. Another flawless round, courtesy of our friends over at Prime Gaming. An 8 0 statement from New Turn. The planning behind that to then have it thwarted so quickly. The, the showstopper didn't come through. Quick, so his ult was up as the Hunter's Fury was achieved quite quickly. Remember, he didn't have that 
but he did get two frags through the wall just last round to help get him all points for it. So now he has the Hunter's Fury after a few more frags, pulls up a big impact ult that round, and you can see it's off of frags. Look at the amount of kill rounds there is to defusals or spikes. It's, or just timeouts, rather. It's, it, it's very, very wild for new turn here. Their aim is on, and we talked about how high their headshot percentage is with Suggest, Allow, and Lakia being some of the highest in Korea. Oh, and the, and the thing is, if your shark starts like that, certainly don't help things at all, right? Like, there's so much pressure. There's no room to breathe. It feels so suffocating right now that right off the bat, you've got Allow doing stuff like that, right? And it's not just at the beginning of the map when you're trying to feel things out. When you try to take a little bit of control, you get a second. Allow almost gets a third there onto Fra. But Fra manages to stay alive. They don't have the spike. They don't seem to have any intentions of playing around that as all as around that at all. As Allow has gotten to three. I mean that op is singing yeah. right now. Oh, a four. Oh, he wants the frenzy last. He actually goes for the blade storm. Right click miss. Frenzy out. Double to the head. As he dink dink downs and parry grabs that one actually from behind with the phantom over the shoulder of Allow. And they continue to take each other's uh, aces, by the way. From from uh, Haven over here to Ascent, another Prime Gaming Flawless for us. And we'll see how this one went down to start. I need a, a production. I need to know how many Flawless rounds we're at. I want to say it's like six, five or six. Five or six, At this yeah. point, yeah, it's just been, it's just been disgusting. It four, eight? Yeah, eight? Eight? Wait, eight? no, they didn't answer you that quick, did they? Holy shnikes. Oh, eight in total in the series. Either way, right? Like. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> new turn. New turn have been on another level. They Five have. this game. Five, thank you. And and Sharks way back in is slowly there each round. And it seems like yeah. new turn has already thought about it, right? Yep. You have these Kosova alt now for Denaru. Can make it. Light can or Leich can really start to distract if he goes boathouse. If they have a little bit of yep. util grab before they execute here again, playing with mid ever so slightly, just to see what kind of utility can be pulled out. And they'd have to go versus the Intel over at B or the backup retake kind of aggressiveness over at A. And like we said, you'll always get Suggest alive. He's in the back, ready to throw out Guiding Lights or the Trailblazer. Nice set of strat here. That's yeah. the Dark going over as well, so they can spot Allow. I love the combo. This is what we need to see from Sharks. Yeah, it was an excellent setup with the Paranoia and the Dart as well, and the Hunter's Fury on top from Denaru. Perry's gonna get mowed down as Fra bla blasts across the screen, gets dropped. But the Shock Darts, the Shock Darts delaying things. The Spike, now it's gonna go down. What can Lakia do? Can they keep this perfect game alive? A 2v4, no, she drops. It's just solo. In a 1v4 with a Phantom. What a difficult spot. Now the position's been given away as well. And at Riv, there were doubts, right? Like there were doubts on whether or not it would happen. Yep. Uh, but it looks like Sharks are gonna get on the board. They need, they need to. And, and I question what, I, I gotta go back and look at it. Obviously, we just saw a new turn, Hunter's Fury alt back and, and really take down a nice strat that Sharks put together. But what was stopping Sharks from doing this before? It's such an aggressive strat. It's nicely played. Everybody, and, and it, I think it has a great return because everybody is relatively safe throughout it. Because you're either going through blinds or perfect vision with the Sova Dart. So that one just felt like Sharks were all confident in who was watching what yeah. corners, the communication was there, and it shows immediately in a play when you, when you see a team do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, the, setup that. Was, the setup was just great, right? And it, it really came off the backs of the paranoia to displace Allow, and then the fight for that area of the map from Denaro's Hunter's Fury. They, you're, you're right, they saw something and it maybe it really could have just been Allow, right? Because you think about how many times they've tried working their way through there and Allow is taking their faces yeah. off. I mean, that hey, it's off. It. Do we rush it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. All right, what do Sharks have here? What else can they dial up? You hear the run it back has been used from Prozin. He's gonna flash. He's gonna get some space. 
but you've got to keep an eye on Solo. Is that Solo? Yeah, Solo's in a great spot again, right? Like, he's still undetected. A great crossfire. Like, just triple Ooh. one. Solo gets two. The spike goes down as well. As New Turn looks to continue to put Sharks down, but it drops into a 2v2. Make that a 2v1. Allow has a Phantom. Light looking to get the spike down. Allow quietly working his way around as the spike gets planted. planted. Oh, he's not going to check it. He's not going to check the 50. A couple bullets Ooh. to the back of the head. Pop, pop. Good night. Sharks get a second. Sharks are starting to find the groove. The third would be huge. And you see, it's everybody here for Sharks just came online at the end. And it looks like it. The teamwork is there. And maybe late, but you always want to be able to see that from any team in a competition. That you're never down and out. You always have more left in the tank. And it looks like Sharks is giving that last, uh, last hit right here for the first half. See if they can make it three, Doug. They do have the weapons and all the util they would need. Let's see if we can get another combo util strat out of Sharks. Just don't have any ultimates. Allow tanking. No, no, move out of the way, my man. <laughs> Try to get me killed. Suggest so with the flash, though, again, going aggressively through the middle of the map. It's like a cobra, right? They're just tightening them around them, trying to suffocate them out. You feel pressure coming in from so many different areas. They've got them on the run, and they're chasing them down. Oh, my word. Look at Solo. He gets taken out by Light right away as the Seekers try to pinch in where Sharks is. Neutron want to make this round count, but Sharks are saying no way. We've already thought of that. One goes down now from Allow, and it's going to be off the AWP. Perry good for one as well. Lockie already good for two. My Ooh. goodness, a statement made. New turn. I, they just dominated. Dominated that half from top to bottom. And I, I want to apologize. I realize it's a python, not a cobra that does the, the suffocating thing. Cobras are a bit more direct with how they go about things. But either way, okay, there you go. <laughs> the point's the same, right? Like, new turn, they dial up pressure at the exact right time. Sharks have no room to breathe here. Honestly, the I think everybody looked for the op going up because I was like, it's going to be about a Lau. And then Lockie and Perry did all the groundwork down right in front of A entry. I don't think that uh, Sharks realized that was going to happen so quick with the double tap on both of them coming out. So it is only two rounds. Pistol round becomes even more pivotal now for Sharks here to keep themselves in that upper bracket, to keep themselves in this game against New Turn. Silver lining here for Sharks fans at home. If you're keeping up with stats, if you're a numbers guy like I am, they do have a better win rate defensively than they do on the attack. So there's there's a sliver in there, right? Like there's a thread of hope that you could hang on, but you hear the yep. Ultorb has already been taken from new turn in B. They rotate back, considering potentially going over towards A. The middle of the map, they're, I mean, they're totally blind to what's happening there. I love the little combination they have with the turret on the side of Sharks, along with Prozine in mid. Nice little crossfire there that allows Fra to work in B. And then yeah. Fra stays there. He's got mid, he's got B, and you can get Denaru to rotate. I love the fluidity of the way Sharks is playing this first round. You always have to stay mobile, and we see now Denaru has leaned towards A. Light with a great paranoia, but the flash is there to counter things out. Allow dancing around the gen. No, not able to land the shots. As Gav she's just the one who cleans him up. Looking for a second, gets a third as well. Spike down. Ooh. He's been a thorn in their Fire flesh. Standing. A fourth kill. Left. As Perry is left alone. He's got the spike and is hightailing it back to B. He's out of there. A little uh, Dwarbala, Dwarbala from uh, Gav she's there. He comes up. And Perry's going to have to run now. He's on the other side of the map. He will have uh, a few uh, star for himself, left. but that's about it. He's going to have to be uh, praying to the stars for this one. 3v1, and he sets it out. Which one will it be? The smoke to buy time. Hot hand's not going to land. Perry playing this pretty well. Good for one. Not able to get the second. Gabshees gets the ace. I believe that's the first one of the series, and... Well, they needed that one. They needed that one desperately. Riva Sharks get to three. Yeah. Ace. That's a very, very big one. Now they have a few to keep in their pocket. Is this the time the new turns pulls out just all the sheriffs again, though? Right off the bat, we'll see in just a second. Everybody picking up the pace here on both sides of the scoreboard. It's what you love to see. Vandals are here. No blast packs for Gabshees. Uh, or Gabshees. So you will see a bit of lack on util, but they should be good to buy up here and feel pretty good about what's coming next. But that was a yeah. Vandal, right? Did they go straight Vandal? We saw him running up there. We'll have to see as we get out of the replay here. 
but they may want to hold hard uh, distant angles. Yeah. And there is a, a Vandal there for yeah. Gobjis. Reaping the benefits of his ace in the previous round, looking to pile it on <laughs> a bit more here. Doesn't tag anything. Doesn't land. And that doesn't really land. Any shots gets pushed back. As new turn turn their attention to A. And man, they're going, Riv. Firing in. That dart didn't really see too much. Not damage onto light either, but they know where he is. In the middle of the site, he's gonna take that fight. And it's a one for one trade. Yeah, she's trying to hold things down from up top. Has the showstopper here. The 4v3, they still have the numbers advantage. And the more utility yeah, you draw yeah. out, things like that, right? Like, that's a win if you're new turn because you know B is entirely open. Lakia has gotten onto the back back of spawn. So this ultimate from from Gabshi, from Gabshi's, oh. excuse me, does nothing, right? That That's that's gone. There's no value there. Lakia understands where the pressure is coming in from. They should be able to get the spike down. The thing is, Lakia only has a sheriff. Stand. That makes things planted. very difficult. Bot, but not enough time to put it down. He wants to try to catch a 1v1 situation before they peek. That's one. He looks for the second. The Naru with the 3K, and it's all starting to come together a little bit for Sharks. These first two rounds were necessary, but will they have the building blocks to start taking these gun rounds on the defensive side? That's their side to play on, to be strong on, and we'll see if they can put that defense up against New Turn here. And financially, got uh, sharks, excuse me, predominantly Gobshees, but for, uh, sharks across the board are in a really good spot because, again, Gobshees had that Vandal. He didn't die, right? So he's right. sitting on a pretty penny. That's huge. He's going to be able to, yeah, he's going to be able to bring a, an additional amount of firepower, allocate funds, you know, do whatever you have to in order to keep things spicy. But even that, you see for sharks, it's only, it's only Leitch who has a frenzy. It's a bit extra elsewhere. See, Fra invested the most while new turn. This is this is the new turn that we know. Light armor sheriffs across the board. Yep, there it is. Let's see what they can do. So just holding for now. If they do decide to shoot it. Okay. Interesting, because you also I guess it also gives the opponent something to think about. It's like always breaking sage wall when it goes down. It's you know it always you always have to have an eye on it now to make sure nobody is there. So that's one thing you can see. Sharks don't grab onto is using an Odin in that situation, knowing somebody yeah. could be there. That is something that new turn favors is getting that little frag. One, two, three. To make sure it's more util or position on the map. You saw Dinaru tried to get over to drop the shock dart off of the audio cue of the orb being picked up, but he just showed up late, so they were able to get away scot-free. And yeah, he got some info, tagged a couple of players with his drone, but that's all it was. The thing is, even with the sheriffs here, Riv, this is a really hard site to get into, and, and Denaru's gonna rotate his way back, but there is a good yeah. bit of Killjoy utility to work their way through. They know where Fra is. The Nano Swarm, that's, that's key. If you can remove that from the fold, you've got a lot of room to work with. The Lockdown's gonna be used as well. Oh no, the Flash. Frozen's not able to land anything. Goes in for double. Got the ult, but that's all he wow. got. Still a great play, very heady there by Prozine to go in and take that down. He gets another one with the Spectre. He's holding just outside. Here comes the Guiding Light. Cavity's not going to be able to see too much off for that. He's Prozine. He's going wild right now. He lives in the light. And this is going to be uh, Prozine once more as Leitch was actually on the other side of that going down. A 3K for him, a 3K for Denaru last round, the 4Ks, and the Aces for Gabshi. Like, this is exactly what they need. They needed to turn it on. They needed to keep going hard. And that play, I think actually New Turn gave themselves up a bit early because if a star they placed towards the back of Denaru at the time of taking the yeah. site needed to be replaced. So it was called back, time was waited, they replaced it almost in the same spot. And by that time, Sharks was there. Great identification of what was going on in the round. Good call. Good call indeed. Decent good weapons across the board from both teams. You've got a couple of Spectres scattered in there. But for new turn, they've had some tough sledding on the attacking side. And well, I mean, it's been primarily weapon advantage for Sharks. Yeah. But now we're on, on decently equal footing as they try to work the middle of the map. You see Prozen again in that same little crossfire with the Killjoy turret that you mentioned earlier. There it is. That's the cue. The curveball comes out. Not able to land the kill as Lao gets away. Damage. But that's the setup. We'll see. So three smoke over onto Cat, allowing a little movement here so Gab Gabshis can get himself into position. New turn is really feeling out the map right now. 
trying to figure out who's where, allow a little bit of movement from Sharks. We actually saw this from Sharks on Haven on the first time. When Sharks was attacking, they would hit something, allow New Turn to mill about the map. You knew New Turn was never holding original angles by the time Sharks would be hitting with how much time they were wasting. And that's what kind of New Turn's doing here. Wait it out, you see Sharks are committing to a site to say, hey, let's at least lean these ways. And then you have a definitive left. hit. You can power in numbers this site. It looks like they're going to use 3v2 over towards B as it pans out. Oh, that's such a good hot hand set. Delays really any entry. You saw that they had no way. Allow Lockyer couldn't get through that. And then the curveball through the smoke lands another one as well as Pros and then repositions himself onto the site. 12 seconds left. They have to get onto the site. They have to fight their way through this. And so far, so wow. good. Lockyer and Perry get a couple of piece. Perry should be able to get the spike down. Yeah, and are. now the remaining members of Sharks have arrived. A great dart to expose where Perry is, Gravity Well, he's just a sitting duck. Gabshees is as well. New turn, take the round back. And that's what it's, will be expected there. The round goes long, power in numbers, death ball through the situation. And whether or not you're guaranteed to have better numbers than the other team, you're guaranteed to basically only have the people and utility you're seeing immediately. So you can instantly take the fight and know and assess what's going on. There, Neutron was able to pull the 3v2 as it was only two members of Sharks and beat them. Very, very good setup. Now, now we find Neutron back in, back in a comfortable spot, right? And, and I say that, they've been They've had a comfortable lead for a little while, but Sharks have been able to slowly claw their way back into the sinks. And it's been primarily off the back of Gobshees and things like that. Dinara using the Hunter's Fury. Oh. Just narrow. Oh, that narrow was real close. Where did they go? Just hanging out for the time being. Okay, so drone season, that'll pause things for a little bit more. Oh no, Hunter's Fury, that'll activate things, knowing maybe where the other Sova would be with that drone coming out. And it's gonna be a slight play towards A. No, it's a Who's fake. God, it's a fake, it's all a fake, right? They invested the Hunter's Fury, yep. they invested the, the Seekers, but Solo oh, was no. on the one there, they, the entire side, but Prozen was in a great spot, holding down the middle of the map, spots the Lurk, and gets the spike. Prozen is sitting on gold. Right now, the problem is he is the most wanted man in the server right now. They know where he is, and he's getting pushed in from all directions. He does eventually drop. They should be able to pick up the spike, and it's going to be a foot race to get to B. 2v2 as we come in. Pretty tattered and hurt. Leich is only 30 HP, so 155 stands for the side of Sharks. If you're added up and a little bit healthier on the side of New Turn. Utility is there in the Trailblazer, so they can get themselves in, but it's just one smoke and a shock bolt for the side of Sharks. Looks like they're gonna try to work together here instead of the 1v1 smart play as they'll able to find one person in the site and this is going to be big. If Lakia comes key. back in time, there it is. Lakia was key there and you could see it. The writing was on the wall. If he stays alive, if they don't clear out showers, they're gonna get blown to shreds. And you said it, Riv, like you spoke that thing into existence. As soon as the timing passed by, as soon as they knew where Suggest was and they focused in on him, Lakia shows up, hits him with the Haymaker to get New Turn to map point, to series point, and to threaten to push Sharks down to the loser's bracket. Honestly, Sharks have shown quite a bit, and whoever's there, if they go down, it's not there yet. That's gonna be very, very dangerous games to play against. Sharks will be very aggressive and fighting hard. 12 to five here. They're focused on this right now. These rounds could be the ones that matter for them. A quick blast pack out. Gabshi saves all the rest of his util from going down there as Solo is just on his heels. We do have a Bulldog and a Stinger with a Spectre on the side of Shark, so they're trying to pull out what they can. And Prozine wants to be aggressive with the ult. He doesn't find one there. Great job coming out of Fra. And really great, great job coming out of New Turn. You see all, there was, there was no way that he walks out in the middle of the site without uh, almost everyone on the team seeing him. Yeah. All right, Gabshees has already dropped. Excellent counter to the running back, but Prozine's still in a good spot. Well, he was. He was until solo happened. That's another one that drops as new turn continue to creep closer and closer to finishing off Sharks, to finishing off this series. They're going to get on to B with relative ease. Fry is the last remaining member on the site. He's got to go big here. 
Wow. Oh. hits. Frago is down. Leitch doing what he can. You should run. And Leitch he should run. But he wants to run at. He will deny that call. Ooh, there it is. Suggest <laughs> and allow are the ones to see it happen. Another flawless for you, Doug. Brought to you by Prime Gaming. And that is the match.